For more analysis on this issue, we're now joined live from our Cairo studios by Ahmed Nagib, founder of the National Committee for Defense of Civil Liberties and Rights. Thank you for joining us. Now, if we look at this draft, the final draft of the Constitution, it talks about banning political parties based on religion. Now, ultimately, this would ban the Muslim Brotherhood. How is that likely to be received? We did see our correspondent there, Adil Maruhi, talk about some issues around that. Well, you have to understand that it is uh, a new uh, introduction uh, or they've introduced uh, something new in the uh, previous articles that was there uh, that it's going to be banned based on practices and its programs or the manifestos of those uh, parties. So uh, the, it doesn't necessarily mean that the FJP, which is the, uh, the, the party representing the Muslim Brotherhood, and the Nur Party, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be uh, banned immediately, but that they are going to have to uh, reintroduce uh, uh, new programs and be very careful in how they manage their parties. Uh, because supposedly on uh, the way they registered previously is that their civil uh, party is not r based on religious back, uh, with religious background. So th th it's still vague how it's going to happen, but uh, you have to understand that the Noor party is backed up by Saudi Arabia, and uh, to, to push them to vote yes for this referendum to be voted yes by a big uh, part of the Islamic sphere, uh, they will be uh, given some sort of uh, 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 a st a special status to, uh, to continue. And for the Muslim Brotherhood, there will be definitely talks and negotiations about uh, whether if they accept to be part of the process, uh, they will be offered to continue as a party, but not as a group. Uh, those are issues still uh, up in the air, but w the time will unfold and we'll find out exactly what, what the agreements were. All right, Mr. Nagib, if we look back at the previous constitution, it was passed by an overwhelming majority, but, uh, but there was only a 33% turnout to pass that uh, constitution. What are we looking at this time, especially uh, wanting an approval? Well, uh, you have to understand the history of referendums in the world, and, and specifically Egypt, that they always somehow pass. It, there's always a vote for a yes of confidence to those referendums. The question would be, how big of a vote would that uh, uh, constitution get? Would it be a landslide, like above 65 and 70% as the first referendum in uh, 19th of March? Uh, uh, in 2011, or will it be a small mi a majority, somewhere between 50 to 55 percent, showing a division in the country and the nation's uh, agreement on this constitution, not having enough support? Uh, there, a lot of people consider that the vote, uh, a vote for yes, is actually a vote of confidence of the roadmap introduced by the military in, uh, in, in uh, 2013 in June. All right, Mr. Nagib, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for your time this evening. We're speaking there to Ahmed Nagib, founder of the National Committee for Defense of Civil Liberties and Rights in Cairo.